I'm uh, feeling somewhat melancholy. I spent the night in the basement and uh, Annie and Eva spent the night in the bedroom and Sandy, my stepmom, she had a rough night. We have bonded in such an extreme way with my dad's death and uh, I mean we were both with him literally until the end that we've been an extreme amount of support to each other and he kept messaging me saying I can hear Sandy's still up Sandy's still up Sandy's still up because Eva was not sleeping very good either I was sleeping like a rock in the basement I'm sure that she's sad and missing dad and She's also sad because I'm going to be leaving the house. I'm bummed too. I feel like this trip has been a unique trip for me to come back home. Normally, when I come home, it's for a shorter period of time, like a month or something. I quick do a circle run around. I meet all the people I need to meet. I kind of like, hey, highs and buys, highs and buys. And then I'm off back to China or back to my adventures. And I don't have enough time to really bond with back home but this has been a number of months involving the loss of dad involving a real new bonding situation with new family members like my my stepmom she's not new but this relationship I have with her is on a new level and my stepbrothers I'm gonna miss home way more than I think I've ever missed home before as a matter of fact, right now I'm driving to see Joey and Grammy. Today we're gonna have a family barbecue. We're gonna celebrate my birthday, which is coming up on June 21st. We're gonna celebrate uh, Eva's birthday, which is July 14th. And we're gonna celebrate Annie, uh, Annie's birthday as well, because she's not gonna be here before, before that. No gifts, nothing like that. We don't even wanna have gifts for Eva because we're gonna be flying, you know? Flying to LA and then flying back to China, it's just too much. But Joey and Grammy, they don't feel up to traveling. They're they're getting older and they don't, they don't feel like uh, they got it in them to come to a barbecue. It makes me all the more appreciative that I'm here to see them now. So I wanna make sure I, I give them big hugs and I sit down and have a good coffee with Joey. Cause who knows, right? Oh. Happy Father's Day! <laughs> Happy Father's Day. I am so far behind on my videos that this is going to come out, I'm guessing, after my birthday. <laughs> Which is in a few days. Hey, Grammy. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Are you going to have are you, coffee? Are you, are you letting have this a, guy in for some coffee? Just coffee. He's, he's the best one we could ever let in. Jay. Hey, hey man. Hey, how's How are you doing? Joe, you going to miss me? Oh, um, it's going to be terrible. I, you know, I, I've been thinking about that. You, I know that you don't believe this, but I, I, for lately, you know, the last three months, I've been hard to sleep and kicking around and oh, I, I'm, I had to get new do stuff on my bed. I kicked it and tore it, <laughs> tear it up. And so I was wondering why it's happening. And you know, the only thing I can come up is my man is leaving. Uh -oh. There's no question about that. He has got the talent to go around the world and uh, put together a story that will sell on our TV right here <laughs> in the United States. All he has to do is put it together, and he's really good at that. I'm going to miss this guy. <laughs> I've had such a good time coming here and hanging out with you and having oh, yeah. coffee. Oh, really? And uh, shooting the shit and just... No, I think you've had more fun at um, Don's house. I know they needed you there. Well, I needed to come here and hang out with you, Joe. I'm glad you let me into your house. You could have said, get out of here. Listen, get out of here. Listen to the guy. Get out of here. Get out of my life? That's telling myself to <laughs> croak. I'm not going to do that. You better not croak. I'm not going to do that. This guy is so good. 
that wherever he goes, he brings happiness. When, when a man talks from his heart, especially the heart that he has, you know what's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. What? <laughs> Nothing. You're doing good. Oh, oh, oh. Every time I turn this camera on him, he looks at the camera. Well, and I he starts telling see, a story. Well, I look to see what's going on. You, there's a sideways view and there's further. Yeah. I don't know if that's first coming from the top of my head or what. <laughs> that's you the know. camera. Joe, you got a nice head of hair there. That's nice. Yeah. I, uh, well, you know, the reason I have that like that is I fool around with the grass cutter. Yeah, I started with the it up and my hair was long. You know, <laughs> I, I, I'm, my head went around, I don't know how many times, you know, poor neck. When I come back, you're going to be a year older, maybe. <laughs> don't talk like that. You're going to be a year older. He, he says maybe. Old, no, no, I mean, maybe I'll come sooner. Maybe turned, I'll come later. I turned into ice. Maybe a year. I turned into ice. Maybe when he comes back in a year's time, I'll still be here. The no, way, that's not what I meant, Joe. No. <laughs> The way he said that. Oh, you know, no, no. Goodbye, everybody. For whom the bell tolls. It's been nice knowing you, people. <laughs> All I was saying Action. is that maybe when I come back, I'll see you. But maybe I'll be riding down the road in Vietnam on the side of the road. There. Hey, how hey, are yo, you? Hey, yo, hey, yo. And I'll be like, Grandpa, what are you doing? He'll have, you'll have a big sombrero. And I'll say... Joe, what are you doing wearing a sombrero in, in, in Vietnam? You won't see a big sombrero. You'll see a nice woman on the back of my bike. Oh, bi boy. The, my bicycle, she's hanging on to me, you know. I'm going fast. I'm going to miss you. Well, oh, yeah. we'll have, we'll, we have fun when we're together, you know. But all these stories that you can tell me, I can, is only a little pigeon fool I can tell you. You've got to actually live them out if you want to tell a good story. Yeah, yeah. The richer the life, the better the story, the longer the story. Yeah. My relationship with Joe and Grammy has grown since I've been here. Oh, yeah. I think. There's no, Every time I come back home, I feel no like question I feel like we're more friends than, than we were before. You know what I saw? I think of you as one of my best friends. I saw you talking to your daddy and crying Yeah. before he died. And uh, it hit you really, really, really hard. And it also did hit me, too. Yeah, I know. Because of it. It's too bad. Your dad was good. I had a lot of fun with him. He was a great guy. Yeah, he, he wasn't family. He was, he was a good guy. He loved golf. I played golf with him all the time. He, he, He'd, he'd go, he can go, he can go out and play golf every day. And he was good at it too. He, he can hit a long ball. In golf, when you hit, when you hit a ball long, it's, it's, it, it's a very good thing. You take me now, I couldn't get nowhere near him when he let, when he let loose. When was the last time you hit balls with dad? God. Long time ago. Yeah, it's been so long. <laughs> da D. Da D. Da yeah, Don. Da D. <laughs> so, I don't know who was the first guy that came up with that. <laughs> yeah, who said that? Da D. But it would be, we could be in public walk, doing this and that, and we spot each other. And da look, D. Da D. <laughs> you, know? you were the dad, the D. Yeah. And he was the Don, right. the D. Right. And D. you know who I am, right? The D. No, I'm the M. The M. The M. That's what Dad used to call me. The M. The M? The Matt. Oh. Yeah. And he called you that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your dad was good. He, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. It was a tragedy what he had. Yeah, sometimes bad things happen to good people. You got along good with your dad. You guys had talks, decent talks together. Especially towards the end. Yeah. You know, when I came back, we had some really nice talks. It surprised me that the talks were that good with you and him. You surprised me. Why? Well, it takes a sort of a different kind of a person to 
to ever talk to somebody that's, you know... Um, dying? Dying or not even dying, but you haven't seen for a while and you won't see again for a while. Yeah, yeah. You know... Uh, we both spoke from the heart. Dad did too. Yeah. I, well, learned, you, lo I learned a lot from that guy. The D. Donnie was the D. The D. We're going to miss him though, eh? Yeah. The Don was worth worth missing. Yeah. Don was good. Joe, I got to go. I got to get back to the house. And who are you going to see at the house when you go back? I got to get it ready for the party today. Yeah, it's my birthday. Eva's birthday and uh, Annie's birthday Sweet party. Sweet birthdays at once? Well, we're going to be gone, so we might as well celebrate the birthdays before we go. Yeah. That's why I came here, Joe, because I know you can't come today, so. I should be able to give you something for your birthday. Give me a hug. Well, I mean. Joe, give me a hug. All right. All right. All right. Boy, oh, you're strong. Look at, look at that muscle. It's fat. It's fat. It's that's, not muscle. No, that's it's fat. That's I'm going to miss this guy. I'll, I'll be back. Keep the coffee warm for me. Yeah. I want you to know that I appreciate this coming over. You didn't have to do it, you know. Well, I did have yeah. to do it. I love you. Uh, booyah. Booyah. Dio. Dio. All right, Joe. <laughs> See you later, boss. Here. Okay, tell Grammy I said goodbye. We've been thinking about you all the time. I'm thinking about you too. <sighs> Joe. <laughs> I do love my grandpa. Back at home. Annie's pretty much all packed. I still have quite a bit of stuff to pack. My pannier bags and a bunch of stuff. Annie bought this at Costco. <laughs> Big turtle. <laughs> The whole time we're here, this is the hottest day we've been here. And tomorrow's gonna be even hotter. I think Michigan is sweating us out like a like a bad cold. Like These two gotta get out of here. Yeah, we're gonna burn them out. The water, so it's cool. We're headed to Costco. We're gonna buy some groceries. Yeah, Sandy's got a show the card. Welcome to Costco. Hard drives. My stepmom wants some hard drives so I can put all the home videos, old home videos of dad and everything on, on them for her. So that's what I'm working on now. Costco is an amazing place for baked goods. Cookies, breads, forget about it. Meat, literally anything that goes in your mouth you can get a really good deal on. And it's a fantastic quality here at Costco. It's dangerous for a guy that has a big appetite like me. Who's here, honey? Who's here? Who's here? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? How's it look? Nice. Oh, very nice. Eva's like, Nona, Nona, Nona. <laughs> You're gonna have to leave that child here. Hi. Is that you? That's your picture. Show, show Annie. I know. You have to stay here. What? <laughs> Eva just fell down the basement stairs. No, no. Sit, sit, sit. She was trying to get to the pool table. <sighs> Thank God they are soft. Very soft. Found her all the way at the bottom. Just heard. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm crying. Hopefully she learned her lesson. Don't go down the stairs. Where? Roll the ball. I had to teach you not to throw the balls on the pool table. You have to roll them nicely. You do good. You learned. <gasps> wow, you did that. Eva. Boop. Ooh, warm day. 
Warm day. You never know what the future is going to hold. Any day could be your last or could be different from the last. I don't know what uh, Sandy plans to do with the tractor after I leave and after she kind of settles in more to this house. And look at this. There's some leaves in that in their backyard. So I'm going to ride the tractor. Not really to cut the grass, but to enjoy the tractor. My dad loved that tractor. And I think he would be more than happy to know that I was utilizing it as much as possible. good. I used the lawnmower like a blower. We have a nice clean backyard now. Now all we need is people to come, be good to go. So today's Eva, Matt, and Annie birthday slash Father's Day barbecue is featuring Mom, the mom. Eva, the stinker dinker. Becky, the sister. Andrew, the brother. Cinda, the cousin. Sandy, the mom. Amy, the neighbor. Chad, the best friend. Marianne. Emily. Auntie Anne. Alec. Steven. Jill. Jill is from Ningbo. She was a teacher. She's Ningbonese. She's Ningbonese. <laughs> well, nice hat. Thank you. Did you show, did you show Annie? Yeah, Andrew's repping. hat. Whoa. Ni hao. Ni hao. One of the hardest parts of leaving is leaving my good friends behind. Oh, I'm not going, honey. <laughs> she thinks you're leaving. <laughs> I'm not going, baby. Let's walk Chad out. Say goodbye. <laughs> I don't know when I'll see you next. Yeah, I don't know. Could be a while. Could be. Are you going to miss my friend Chad? Yeah. Yeah. You miss their toys in the home, right? Yeah, you love those toys. Say bye-bye, honey. Bye. 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 Holy moly! <laughs> this is a little engine that could, or couldn't. All right, the gate's open. Take it all the way to bed. The Wally mobile. Yeah, the Wally mobile. Oh gosh! Bob Marley blazing. What's, What's up? <laughs> the world's greatest father. Or father. The world's greatest father. I mean father. Yeah. It's crazy when people leave here, they're leaving uh, my life for a long time. As far as being able to see them eye to eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what boobies feel like? No, no, let me try. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Matt, Annie, and Eva. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Eva, I love you so much. This is a dark yes, chapter of Dino. Mm. She tastes so cute. <laughs> Who is that guy? Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> My mom's leaving. My son's leaving. <laughs> He's leaving. We've done some we've done some great things while I was here. Have. Yep. And yeah. mom's mom's on to a new phase of her life too. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, all because of you. I mm -hmm. mean, people can't believe it. I'll see you in a while. Okay. Next time. Well, I'll be looking forward to the next uh, vlog. She just moved out in a new apartment. I'll, you gotta, you gotta, you're gonna have a couch for me to crash on, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Love you, Mom. It's melancholy. Give me a kiss. Oh. Jayo? Jayo. Yeah. 
So yeah, yeah. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. Chayo. <laughs> Becky's like, please discard please. this portion. Pixelate, pixelate. <laughs> you look great, Becky. Oh, thanks. We are gonna miss Uncle Matt. Mm. We're gonna miss Eva. Mm. We're gonna miss Annie. I miss you guys too. No. Give, give, give a kiss. Give a kiss. I'm gonna miss getting my. Give a hug. Give a hug. I'm gonna big hug. Big oh. hug. Ooh. Okay. Give Victoria a hug. Victoria a kiss. Yeah. Hug. Ooh. Oh. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Oh. <laughs> so give Savannah a hug? Yep. Give Savannah a hug. Big hug. Oh. Jaya. 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 She's my Jaya queen right here. Jaya. All right. Come on, you gotta say it. All right, all right, all right. Hey, Eva, you need to say Jaya. Eva. Yes. Uh-oh, what is this? Wawa? Wow. Wawa. Thank you, Vivian. Oh, wow. Look wow. at the smile on her face. Yeah, she's like, I like that, I like that. Go ahead, honey. Thanks, Say thank Mike. you, hon. Thanks, Mike. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Oh, whoa. Oh. She 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 loves it. Oh, that'll be nice on the plane. You might have just bought us about an hour, half hour. Yeah. <laughs> half hour of, of love the dog. You know, I've left this place so many times, you know. Quick visits back home, a couple of weeks, maybe a month. This has been by far the longest since I've left for China 10 years ago. Up until now, it's still got a part of dad, like Sandy by, it's a big part, but the blood of my dad runs through me. And so in a lot of ways, his blood is still mowing the lawn and tending to the yard and setting his foot on the patios and hugging his wife. When I leave, it's gonna take that out of this, this property and who knows what the future will hold. My dad's still fresh in my mind. A year later, it's gonna be that much more distant. For all you guys that have taken part in the tour, viewers that may not have ever met me, it's been my honor to share my life here with you guys. What an amazing way to do it. You've seen the best of my dad and you've seen us mourning him and but now things are going to be shifting again for me. Tomorrow morning we hit the road. The airport and then Los Angeles and uh, this chapter will close and VidCon will start and then after that back to China where hopefully I can finish up Eva's book before she turns two, catch up on all my vlogs, and settle into the lifestyle I have in China. And then, embark back on my trip around the world. It's crazy. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you later. Next time on the Jayo Vlog. Hey guys at the Jayo Nation. This is an interesting, I guess it would be a supplement. Joe and I uh, met in uh, middle school. And Joe has an, an interesting impact on my life. Such an influence on me. I want to share it with you guys so that you guys can maybe learn from the experience that I had.